Golfing World recently caught up with two American stars of the LPGA as they spent some time traveling through and getting to know Malaysia. And it's clear for everyone to see that Paula Creamer and Natalie Gulbis share more than just a talent for golf. Paula and I are friends. We, we have a lot in common. We share a very similar upbringing. Uh, we both work very hard and uh, love what we do. Fearsome competitors on the course, both girls relish the opportunity to put away the golf clubs and show off their more feminine sides. I love dressing up. I love it. I think it is like the best. Anytime I have the chance to, you know, to dress up, wear a great dress, um, you know, wear some, some killer shoes. And the similarities don't end there. Both Paula and Natalie credit their fathers for sparking their passion for the game. My dad was an avid golfer. He was a police officer and he worked a graveyard shift. So every day he would get done at noon and pick me up from school and he was usually going out to play golf with his buddies. And I, of course, wanted to spend as much time with my dad and five out of seven days a week, he was out at the golf course. For Paula, golf was also a way of spending quality time with her dad. Though incredibly supportive over her career, he continues to thwart one of her major ambitions. When I was 12 years old, when I really got started involved with golf, he tore his Achilles tendon and he was in a, in a boot and you know, he couldn't play anymore. So he really worked with me. Well, before that, obviously he would beat me all the time. And now he is so competitive and yet he will not play me in golf anymore because now he can say for the rest of his life, he, he beat me. And it is, it is so hard. I just, I can't stand that. I, all I want to do is go out there and say, yes, I beat my dad, I beat my dad, but I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> Both players suffered injuries and had surgery last year. Thus far, 2011 has not lived up to either's expectations. It hasn't been quite what, what I have expected, um, but I've been working very hard. Um, you know, kind of got off to a pretty good start and then had a little bit of a you know, rough patch and starting to find my game um, again. And you know, that's just, that's the sport. Uh, just kind of, you know, you're, you're not necessarily hot and cold, but it's, you know, you got to, got to fight through the, the tough times, and that's kind of what I've been doing. I've been grinding it out, and I, I feel good. I, I feel like it's all kind of coming together. It's just putting four days together, not, not three. I've really struggled this year. This has been one of my toughest years on tour. It's, I've been healthy. I felt really good, and I'm very disappointed with my performance so far. We're at the halfway point, so I still have a lot of events and um, a lot of opportunities to kind of turn my year around. So I'm up for the challenge. I'm looking forward to it. Career-wise, however, the girls could not have had more different stories. Paula burst onto the scene, winning in only her ninth outing as a pro, while still completing her studies. I was um, 18, and you know, I was just finishing up my senior year in high school, and you know, winning the week before graduation was like you read in a storybook. Uh, it was like a fairy tale, and got to come home, uh, you know, get my diploma, walk up, you know, do my walk, and have all my friends there, and it was incredible. I mean. I'm 18 years old and I won my first LPGA event. It was, it was a very nice way to enter the LPGA Tour, that's for sure. She has gone on to win a further eight LPGA titles, including last year's US Women's Open. For Natalie, that elusive first win was a lot harder to come by. I was expecting to win my first year on tour. Um, I was very surprised I didn't win my first year and then I got to year three and I was a top 10 player in the world without a win and then I got to year four and five and I was still a top 10 player without a win and um, my coach just continued to encourage me to, uh, to be very patient. She finally made the breakthrough at the 2007 Evian Masters. However, it remains her sole LPGA victory to date. I thought once I won my first tournament because I had, that was the trend, was if you won a tournament, you won five. And you would just go on these roller coaster years. And I went on to win that tournament, have a good couple seasons, and then I got injured. And so I fought injuries for a couple years, and this is the first year that I felt healthy again. They were united at a golf clinic in Kuala Lumpur to help promote the upcoming Sime Derby LPGA Malaysia. They were able to share their experiences of life on tour with the most promising young Malaysian female golfers. And both girls are really looking forward to the event this month.
I'm excited to come back here and play in the Sime Darby event here in October. There's going to be a little bit more expectations because I played well there last year. And I've also spent a lot of time in Malaysia, so it's going to be like coming home for me, seeing everybody again. And I think there's just a lot of positive energy about that week. I am looking forward to it. You know, we've been out, uh, seen the golf course. Uh, there's some really good holes. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I know the scores, you know, from last year, so I kind of know what to expect to, to come out and shoot. But um, I know that they had a lot of, you know, good following um, with people, and, and that's always nice to, to come to a country that's that's welcoming for for women's golf. They'll both have their work cut out to come away victorious in one of the strongest fields of the season. And that's what you want. You want to play against the best players in the world. And when you come to a country like Malaysia and to have you know, the top players, that, that's very exciting and, and you want to win. With Paula departing to celebrate her 25th birthday, Natalie took the opportunity to discover more about Sime Darby. A visit to a palm oil plantation gave her the chance to see another site to Malaysia. She even did some planting of her own, naming a tree in memory of her grandfather. It was the perfect time to reflect on a decade as a pro. As I look back, this has been 10 years on tour. I had no idea it was going to be anything like how it is. I didn't think that I would be you know, helping out tourism in Malaysia or even go to Malaysia. I mean, you just, I just thought I'd be playing golf and, and competing and uh, this has superseded any expectation that I ever could have even imagined. Uh, it's been a, it's a great life out here and we get to see so much of the world and so many different cultures and it's like a university of life being out on tour.